Hi guys, welcome back to the Department of Filtration. Apologise for it being a long time, but I was doing some home renovations. Accidentally misplaced a few bits of my recording gear, so <clears throat> and I'm back now. And today we're going to be looking at the Man Filter W68 slash three now this was a viewer requested filter that i've got in and so i'm excited to have a look at it so let's go ahead and take a look we've got the man man here part number different language some application information here some sort of some more European brands on there. And then some here when I had a look at what they fit. I saw mainly a lot of Toyotas. Um, get on the bottom. Man and Hummel made in Germany. One oil filter. Ooh, got some stuff on the inside of the tab. Carton recyclable, that's all. So this is the filter, man filter, some instructions there, if I can kick it out of the reflection. Made in Germany. Looks pretty solid to me. We've got, got a nice thick gasket here. It's on there fairly well. Yeah, nice and thick. Square, square cut gasket. It's very nice and soft. And it's sort of fairly smooth. Feels like <clears throat> it'll go nicely on a filter. It's a little bit of an interesting design here on the top because we've got six inlet holes but on but they got a flat edge on the back here and on three of them the front the top of the can is actually folded in with little tabs around the top so i'll be interested to see when we get this off sort of what the base plate looks like underneath <clears throat> And another interesting design feature is that you can see it on the camera is this can is not actually around at the top. See all the way around there's a bit that goes in and then there's a bit that's raised. In, raised, in, raised. Which is certainly something that I haven't seen before, so I'm interested to get it cut open and have a look, which we'll do now. I'll get it cut open and we'll have a look. Righty, so I've got this filter cut open. We'll have a look. Yeah, that's interesting. Can you hear that? You can see that move in there. That answers the question to our uh interesting use of the tabs here as well as the outside is this the threaded bottom plate isn't actually attached to the can in a traditional way so this is an example of a random head here they often see this is just all one sort of thing with the can you can see here little dots as well as dots there I believe they're probably spot welds so in this case this one's spot welded to the can and a lot of other times they're simply just glued and the pressure that the can puts down on the side here being pressed into the top also helps hold it in 
This is the first time I've seen one that's not glued or spot welded. So it's got these three tabs. And these bits, how there was edges and then bits that were down on the inside. They actually meet up with these square edges here. And I believe that what that would do would help it stop rotating when you're trying to turn turn the camber, get the thread to move in the middle. It's a very interesting design indeed. I've never seen that. I wonder what the what the benefits of that may be. I assume that it may be hmm. I'm not sure. And I don't think it really makes a difference either way too to the to the filter. And any leaks that would come up from around the edge from around the edge up into here. It wouldn't matter because the gasket's on the outside of that join. So we'd just go back in with whatever was coming out the outlet holes. It's interesting. Now on to the rest of the filter. Let me slip down a bit. <clears throat> Got a feels to me like a silicon and rainback valve. So you get a little bit of a, a texture to it. It feels pretty high quality. It sits on there nicely. It's fairly loose on there, but I think the uh, element sort of takes up a bit of that. Yeah, that's fairly solid. Silicon any drain back. Looks like a nice element here, but we'll get to that. Very interesting sort of style loose spring down there too. Fair bit more substantial to your standard loose spring. And it's got a nice little rim to help me locate. Locate the element. It's actually got a, a fair bit of spring to it compared to a lot of other leaf springs. So I actually quite like that design. In our can, <clears throat> really quite a thick can for the size of the filter. It's going to be hard to get a measurement, I reckon, because it's sort of folded, but no, no. That's pretty good. So, looking at the 0 0.6, 0 0.7 of a mil, which is really quite thick for an oil filter of this size, which is about you know, 75 mil tall, by 65, really quite a thick can. Couple together with that, I think the way that they've folded it so it's sort of in at the top around these four square edges so it added a bit of rigidity too it feels like. And then got the nice little grab flutes on the bottom. Now for the <clears throat> element, looks like we've got a nice evenly pleated cellulose in the middle. Element. We'll get this cut out, get the paper cut out, and we'll come back and have a look at that. 
Okay, so we've got our <clears throat> element cut out here, and it's about 1.25 meters by 40 mil there. So it's fairly small amount of media. It is quite a small oil filter, so can't expect too much. Main, mm, it's fairly loose. Off. Um, a main sort of complaint that I have about these sort of things is I really don't like these. This right here is a spacer, which just means this element most likely fits in quite a few other oil filter cans. Um, or whether they're big, they could fit in one shorter than this, or one taller than this. They could put a bit bigger spring or something in there, and they all use the same filter. And even though it's a bigger can, it's a smaller amount of paper in it, which I don't particularly like. It's one of the things that if you bought an OEM one, um, I'm not sure if I've got an OEM for this or not. But I reckon that it wouldn't have a little flute at the top and you would get more paper in it. But the paper itself does actually appear to be a synthetic blend. It's hard to see on the camera, but you can see synthetic fibres on there. We'll put it under the microscope and have a look, eh? Okay, so that's the element under the microscope, which uh, looks to be pretty high quality to me. I wouldn't say there's any issues with the actual filter element in it at all. Seems quite good. And then in terms of the cage we've got a metal core with holes which are nice and smooth on the filter side no rough edges to cut and tear it which is nice and a nice amount of holes the glue I'd say is leaving a little bit to be desired but it's got a fair amount in there that just wasn't really glued around the top of that, but it doesn't really need to be, so that's all right. So what have we got in total? Can, really nice and solid. Absolutely no issues with that there, it's quite good. This base plate is very interesting design. I think it's got Plenty of flow for the size filter is, and it's certainly interesting. I don't think there's any issues with this design. I just can't think of any reason why I wouldn't want that on your filter. Just looks quite nice. Leaf spring. As always, disappointed to see a leaf spring, but as far as they go... This leaf spring would be one of my favourites. It's not my definite favourite. But it is one of my favourites. It seems quite good. For what it is. Nice, big, flexible. Silicon anti-drain back. It's good. Metal cage. Just nice with holes. Lots of holes. Um... A little bit of a spacer on the top, which is not my favourite, which means we get a f not that much filter element. So overall, I'm not exactly sure where this sits in the market. In Australia, this is not a common off-the-shelf thing at all. I had to buy it online. Um... And as far as that goes, I only really found one place in Australia that sold them online. So, but I think it was about $8. So it was fairly cheap 
in Australia. So it was cheaper than a Ryko, pretty much on par with, say, a, a Repco or a super cheap brand filter, even maybe a little bit cheaper. And comparing to those, I like this filter. I think it's, I think it's a good filter. That's the only things that are letting it down is a small amount of media and the fact that it does have a leaf spring but if you're comparing it to those other economy filters um, I would say it's quite good with no issues at all. If you were going to say it was a premium filter um, and compare it to some others with maybe some synthetic media or nice big coil springs and that sort of thing then I probably wouldn't put it on the top of the list, but as an economy grade filter, it's I reckon it's quite good. So there you have it. This is the Man W sixty eight slash three wheel filter.